With the release of Remote Connect version 3.1.5 and RealFlow version 7.40, the Skaterpack 470i and 474i now include support for Network Role-Based Access Control, or RBAC, using standard IT tools such as Active Directory. In this video, we will introduce RBAC and then demonstrate how you can use it with the Skaterpack 470i and 474i. As cyber attacks on OT equipment continue to rise globally, there is a growing need to enhance security capabilities on network-connected OT devices. RBAC gives you a powerful way to help secure your OT devices. RBAC on the Skaterpack 470i helps to improve your security by allowing you to restrict access to authorized users with an account that has a Skaterpack role. You can assign your users the roles needed to perform their jobs. Whether you're part of IT or OT, you can benefit by managing users across your OT networks using Active Directory or another LDAP or LDAPS compatible tool. Using Active Directory or AD, you can easily add, edit, or remove users and change their assigned roles. This allows you to update user access on AD with one operation and then it takes effect across each Skatapak RTU on your entire network. You can also manage role-based access control locally in each skater pack. You can change local user configurations locally using Remote Connect and automatically using scripts and common IT tools provided by CyberArk, SolarWinds, or others through an SSH or Secure Shell connection. This also ensures a local account is available if telemetry issues occur and you need access when on site. You can configure each Skatapak 470i or 474i to communicate with the AD server using LDAP, the Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, or LDAP Secure over an IP connection. When you attempt to log into an RBAC-enabled Skatapak, the RTU transmits your credentials to the Active Directory server via LDAP or LDAPS. If the server has your account in its database, it responds to the Skatapak with a message authenticating and enabling access to the RTU functions authorized for your specific roles. You can configure an RBAC-enabled Skatapak to use both an Active Directory server and local user accounts. A cyber service tool can regularly update the local user passwords. If communication to the management server is lost, you can check out a local password from that tool. You can then log in using the local account credentials, and after communication is restored, the recovery credentials will again be updated. You can log in to an RBAC-enabled Skatapak using Remote Connect to view or edit the configuration or logic. In the PC communication settings, a connection type of either USB SSH or TCP SSH may be selected. You can use RBAC to control access to the RealFlow flow computer in a Skatapak when you log in to RealFlow using an SSH connection. To access the command line interface with RBAC enabled, you can use an SSH connection through a terminal emulator. Also, you can perform a secure file transfer using SFTP on a secure shell connection. In the Skatapak 470i and 474i, you can assign users one or more specific roles. Available roles include Firmware Administrator, Configuration and Operation, Measurement Viewer, Measurement Operator, Edge Developer, Web Viewer, and Account Management. This functionality allows you to separate the roles of Measurement Operators, Automation Operators, and Administrators. To log in to Remote Connect with RBAC enabled, right-click on the PC communication settings in My Network and select Configuration. Then choose either SSH Login USB or SSH Login TCP. After you close the Communication Configuration dialog, select Skaterpak X70 Controller Settings and click the Online button. The User Login dialog then appears. Enter your username and password, then click OK. You will know that you have logged in successfully when the online status display is connected and the status bar turns green. This may take a few seconds if the RTU needs to contact an Active Directory server over a slow link. 
If you attempt to log in as a local user but enter an incorrect password three times within a three-minute window, your account will be temporarily blocked for four minutes. If this occurs, you need to wait before attempting to log in again to a local account. This information is stored using syslog for auditing. The decision to lock out networked accounts is managed by the Active Directory server. To log in when using a terminal app such as PuTTY, you need to configure an SSH connection. The port number is 2222 and the IP address is either 10.2.3.4 for a USB connection or the configured IP address of the LAN port being used. If you use a serial port, the port needs to be configured for command line mode and the serial parameters need to match. After you connect, when you see the dialog log in as, type your username here. Then press enter, then enter your password. If successful, a user prompt will be displayed. As with a login attempt in Remote Connect, you have three chances to enter the correct password. If not successful, here's what that looks like. To configure LDAP, and LDAP secure connectivity to an Active Directory server, first select RBAC LDAP on the Configuration tab, then set the authentication method to LDAP, which supports LDAP plus Start TLS, or LDAP SSL, which is secure LDAP over TLS. Next, enter the Active Directory server name or IP address. This will typically be provided by the server's system administrator. The LDAP or secure LDAP port number is populated automatically, but you can change it if required. Now enter the LDAP user base search path. Again, this is usually provided to you by the server's system administrator. It specifies where in the Active Directory server's database structure it will look for the user attempting to log in. Finally, you can change the LDAP protocol timeout from the default value of 3 seconds if using a slow communication channel. Typically, you'll leave the role group names at defaults, but you can change them if needed. As each user is created in the Active Directory server, they are added as a member of groups with these names, as required by their organization. Configuring the Active Directory server used to authenticate users and authorize specific roles is typically performed by a knowledgeable IT professional acting as the system administrator. Here we will only provide a quick overview of a server's typical configuration. You can find the base search path, which is the location on the server where it will search for user credentials, by right-clicking on the folder containing the users and then selecting Properties. On the Attribute Editor tab, scroll down to the Distinguish Name attribute and double-click on it. The value is copied and then pasted into the Base Search Path dialog in Remote Connect. The Distinguish Name seems confusing at first, but it's actually fairly straightforward. OU, or Organizational Unit, is the folder where the users are stored. DC is Domain Component and you can see that the two components match the domain called, in this example, puffin.local. When you configure an Active Directory server for use with Skatapak 470i and 474i, several security groups are created. Match each group's name to one of the role group names on the RBAC LDAP configuration page in Remote Connect. You can see the groups here at the top of the list. After you create the security groups, you can create entries for the users. Here, several users have been created for our demonstration. The first is called ConfigOps1. By opening their Properties dialog and selecting the Member Of tab, we can see that they are a member of the Skatopak X70 Configuration and Operation group. The user could be added to other groups as well if required. A second user called WebViewer1 was also created. On their Member Of tab, we can see that they are a member of the SPX70 Web Viewer group. Members of these groups will be assigned matching roles when logging in to a Skatapak. As an Active Directory server's system administrator, you can add or remove users or temporarily disable a user. You can also change a user's password by right-clicking on the user and selecting Reset Password. The user cannot do this directly from Remote Connect. 
To demonstrate how being assigned to specific roles will affect a user, we'll first log in to Remote Connect as Web Viewer 1. One of the rights provided to a web viewer is the ability to use a browser to read object values. However, this user is not allowed to write to an object. You can see that this operation is not allowed. Next, we'll log out and then log back in as config ops1. This user is assigned the configuration and operations role and has the right to use a browser object to write to the database, so we'll try that. First, we can read the database. So you can see that this user, who was authenticated by the Active Directory server over an LDAP connection, has certain rights not provided to the web viewer user. The Remote Connect documentation includes a complete list of the rights provided to users assigned to each role or group. And remember that each user may be assigned to more than one role. You can enable the Remote Account Management Service in Escada Pack 470i or 474i. This setting allows you to use an IT scripting tool such as CyberArk to remotely change local user passwords. The system administrator can then quickly change local user passwords on a regular basis, even in systems with many RTUs. Regularly changing local user passwords is a recommended practice. This can be helpful in systems where local user accounts are primarily implemented as recovery users. You enable remote account management by selecting RBAC LDAP on the Configuration tab. Scroll to the bottom of the page and select SSH Local User Login, Cisco CLI. To use this service, enable the Account Management role for a local user. The local account management user's credentials will then be used by the IT software tool to log into the SCADA pack and make changes through an SSH connection. Syslog services are available on the SCADA pack 470i and 474i. System logging protocol is used by many network capable devices to capture and transfer event logs to a central server using a common format. It helps you as system administrator to monitor the health of network devices from a central location. Enable Syslog in Remote Connect by going to IP Communication on the Configuration tab and selecting the Services option. The connection type is always UDP. Configure the IP address and UDP port number. When role-based access control is enabled, only a user logged in with the Firmware Administrator role may configure Syslog. Then the logging severity level is selected. Severity levels are in order from the highest severity having level 0 to the lowest at level 7. If, for example, level 4 is selected, all messages of severity 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 are sent. Thanks for watching this video which introduced role-based access control for the SCADA Pack 470i and 474i. To learn more about the SCADA Pack, access the user documentation on the Schneider Electric Exchange Shop and Schneider Electric website. Also, see our videos on YouTube.